Hello everybody, this is JT's Unboxings here and today I'm going to be unboxing this PL lamp. Now the reason why I'm unboxing this bad boy is because of a couple of reasons. One, it's not just any old lamp and two, it's rare on the internet. By rare I mean there's only one video showing it off. So yeah, and there's a lot of questions that a lot of people will probably have of what PL bulbs they can use as well. So I'm going to fill you out as well today. Okay, so on the box itself, it says PL lamp, idea for reading, writing, and drawing. Multi precision arm and shade allows you to precision light uh, closer to your reading lamp material. Supplied with a bright, heavy vision 11 watt uh, daylight bulb, 220 watts. Supplied with heavy base for stability, so that's good because uh, I had a clamp one before. And uh, also, I want to know if this will actually last, so this is going to be interesting. It says um, 220 watt, but um, I thought that said 220 volt. Uh, available in black or white, I think I've got the, the black version because it looked like the black version online. But it says uh, daylight, natural uh, daylight. Uh, safety features, multi-position arm and shade, eco-friendly, uses 80% energy. Shows you more on the other side. Also there's a QR code if you want to visit that. If you can see that, I'm not sure if you can. Uh, and that uh, on the back. Information in many, many languages and such. And BS information about saving energy. Um, light on surface. Don't know what all this 220 watt thing is all that. That's something I've got to find out as well. But yeah, it looks like I have the black one. So I'm going to open it up now, like so. And on top of the box, we have the instructions. Excellent, because that means I can see what bulbs I can replace this bad boy with. Let me just quickly check this for you. Uh, do, 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 do. It doesn't say to only replace it with certain ones. That was your instructions. I'm going to have to look at that later. Take it to the side. Um, side part of the go on. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's an old styrofoam crap. I've been looking forward to this the most. This week, we might. Anyway, um, unbox this now. Wow. Wow. The bulb's there. That's amazing. Um, let's take it out. Oh, it's got a Wow, well, I think the style's in there. Oh, good. It's not European. Last time I had a European plug. That's probably why it didn't work properly. Oh, and, uh, a mountain bit. Awesome. Ooh. There's something else in here. Oh! And uh, on the back, where all the bloody styrofoam is, there's also. I'm going to put myself in this. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the base. Yeah, it's the base. Else in the box now. Wow. Um, <laughs> very shocked. So like, basically that's to mount it to your desk and that is to mount it on a desk if you don't want to do it the arm length method. Um, it's got uh, one of these Osram deluxe bulbs in it. Uh, the label doesn't say anything except for its company name. Of course, uh, a great idea to put on the tag. 
But yeah, apparently saves energy and all that. This is where the ballast is. Um, yeah, so. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm sniffing a bit today as well. I've got a bit of a, well, my hay fever's going up the roof. But there you go. There's the little bendy thing. Let's put that on. Wow, considering I don't know what I'm doing, this is actually easier than I thought. Um, I think that's to tighten the thing. So you can put it anywhere you want. The light, um, I think. You can do it, you know, like that. You've got to take the boxes off and stuff. Stir up from everywhere, by the way. Stir the stupid boxy rubbish off. And uh, the biggest thing I want to know is, does this thing work? Oh, I'll see you in a minute. I want to see how long the cable is so I can uh, show you the length of it, which is pretty good actually. That's so that'll fit my socket no problem. Yeah, this car box can pop. Right, I'm going to power this up. Now the last time I put a 7 watt lamp in one of these sort of lamps. Um, it worked, but then it clicked off. So it'll be interesting for me as well as you guys what happens. So I'm just going to quickly get an adapter. Alright, and screw this part. And now I pop it in like that. I love it, it has a little RAM tube in it. That is just amazing. Right, let's just plug this bad boy in. See how it goes. Okay. And um, put the bulb right there. Now, on the videos, they stated that this was preheat. So, you'll see, hopefully, and I should see, if it worked. Oh, and the switch is on the back, by the way. People were wondering about that. Wow. Let me turn it on again. Again. Wow. That is very blink happy. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it. Say for example, it's burnt out and I need to change it. So I'm going to see if the bulbs will work in it that I've got. So I've got a home base PR bulb that you can get from home base, obviously, TCP. Um, also they have an offer on it at home base at the moment for PR bulbs um, <laughs> in my town. I'm not going to tell you where, but they're selling for 25p which is funny, to say the least. Um, Got to try it with a level watt first before we do anything stupid. Here we have a home base one right here. I'm going to put this in and turn it on. Yeah. One more time. One more time. Awesome. Hmm. Obviously that's there for a reason, so we're going to put it actually in place again and put it back in and do the preheat. Home base tubes are not that, well, blank happy at times. I don't know why. But anyway, there you go. Alright, let's try a 7 watt 
Now, I know I, I mean, it might work, I don't know. I mean, if it works with the 11 watt, <laughs> so I can shout, do not eat. Gotta eat, it's freaking early. All right, let's put in this chronic, oh, I like this bulb. Why not work? Let's see. It works. Blink happy. Oh, there we go. Thing is, I don't dare leave it in there long because you know it. Uh, I don't want to knacker it before I get anywhere with it. But I like the arm ticklization, that's nice. I like how it goes down and up, like the old one did, and uh, stuff like that. But the other one that was in it uh, was 11 watt from daylight and it was from, it was basically made from Osram. You can tell that uh, these two companies, the home base one and the uh, Osram one, have uh, a different shape tool. That's pretty awesome. Anyway, let's put this one back in, the one it came with. It's a really bright bulb. Uh, one thing that was different about this light than uh, the other light is this actually came with the proper instructions and another thing that I like about this is the tube is so easy to take out I mean look at this so easy so easy to take out it's unbelievable and it once has a good bracket in it for a change that holds in the bulb properly the other one oh, this one is a bit loose though be careful with it when you keep taking them out, I guess. I don't know if I should keep 11 watts in this because I don't want to knacker it. Ooh, that was a bit of a madness flicker off. But yeah, um, what else does it say? Ah, so that is the ballast. Interesting. I could get my watt meter and see how many watts it actually uses with the ballast. In fact, I might just do that. Nah, I think this has been a long enough unboxing. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this unboxing of this PL lamp. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.